Gentleman yields back his time. Thank you very much for the uh, direct question, direct answer. The gentleman, the young gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Birch, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member. I appreciate your all's leadership on this issue. I consider you all both good folks and good friends. Um, Mr. DeJoy, I think the last time we talked, I yelled at you, so I'll try not to do that this time. I'm very passionate about my constituents and the problems that they're having. Um, and uh, thank you for being here. I want to start by discussing some issues my constituents continue to have with the United States Postal Service. These are folks in Knoxville, and they cannot get mail picked up or delivered for over a week. In some instances, businesses can't send invoices and receive payments. And um, since I've been in Congress, it just seems to progressively get worse. I don't know if that's due to my leadership or what, but mail delays are hurting families and small businesses in our community. Uh, how's the Delivering for America plan addressing service performance? Well, sir, um, well, first of all, I'm, uh, I'm not aware of the particular problems in Knoxville, but I can give you a description of where we have issues, well, how they're, uh, 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 how they're ha happening. But I will say Delivering for America plan is having a tremendously positive impact on mail delivery. Today, 98%, as I said in my opening remarks, 98% of the American population 98% received their mail-in packages within three days. 50% of the mail and first class mail and packages get delivered a day in advance. So we have, when I got here, the network is what was really holding up and, you know, and when you look at next day, a day late, on the service standards that we have, if you're a day late, it's 99% of mail and packages get delivered. Now, we have our retail, our retail, it's, we, we fixed a lot in the network. It's costly, but we fixed it, and it's running, and everything is, everything is moving. There's no longer a tail of the mail, which was about 10 days when I, when I got here. Our retail and delivery networks throughout the land were the most impacted by the pandemic. And where, I mean, they're massive, 31,000 retail centers, 19,000 delivery units, almost 300,000 carriers, uh, going to 165 million delivery points. Um, the, 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 the more... Certain areas, so this is an area where we had to, a, a tremendous amount of turnover, uh, changing, changing population uh, habits, more people moved into the mountains, more people working from home. Post, some, some small post offices had their delivery, their delivery addresses triple in 18 months, triple. And we have, uh, we have been racing to, uh, you know, to, to staff and to clean up some, some operational habits that developed throughout the pandemic, and we're, go we're, going, to, okay. we're going to get them. Let's just Let me ask a few more questions, if I may. And it goes to what you said. You said the post that, that they're increasing these things, but the Postal Service has built out capacity of 60 million packages a day, and you only carry 28 million a day. Can you explain why the Postal Service sees uh, so much excess capacity at a time when volume continues to decline? <coughs> Yeah, so if you remember in, 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 in 2020, in the, in, the, in the fall of 2020, the peak of 2020, where we had millions of packages running around the nation for, for weeks before they actually got delivered, that was because we lacked any type of capacity. The 30 million packages we were doing, we were using, were, most, were mostly being done by hand. Uh, uh, we had, you know, four, we had, uh, so, a lot of inefficiencies there. Uh, we had to come up with a methodology quickly to not experience that again the next, the next peak. And one of the ways we did it was to create annex locations and, and put, uh, uh, you know, put uh, 250 sorting machines in it, and it's a geographical span. So we're looking at the yield. We have to cover the area. Doesn't mean that we're running them, but if we, if we got that many packages, 60 million, we could process it. There's, there's peaks and valleys of, of, of volume. Let so, me interrupt you. I'm, I'm going to run out of time, and I, I see where you're headed with this, but could you, could you give us a brief explanation of hardship delivery and what percentage of hardship delivery requests are approved? I would have to get back to you at that, on that. Could you get back to me on that, yes, please? Sir. Yep. Um, you know, it seems like everybody in the industry is forging ahead with, with – in this economic environment, um, they put a pause on expanding operations, but the post office, postal service, continue to 
move ahead with investments in new equipment and facilities. Are you getting your money's worth for those investments and who's paying for them? Is there an expected timeline for return on this investment? Well, I'm out of time. Uh, so, yes, there is a timeline. We plan to roll out a new network and, uh, over, the next, uh, over the next three to five years is what, what our strategy. And we have a tremendous embedded infrastructure that has been significantly, uh, uh, you know, has significantly deteriorated. We have deferred maintenance of six, seven billion dollars. And this is really what the, what the expansion is. At the end of, when we get done with this, right now we have 400 locations that we move mail and packages across the nation in. We'll be down, we're gonna move that into 60, into 60 locations. We're just gonna be consolidating. So we'll get, you know, we spend, uh, we're, we're getting our money. Uh, the old, we have to execute, and that's another thing. The increased yield to 60 million is the operation. The organization is operating more professionally, more, with you know, pre, uh, more organized manner, uh, because we have to compete with the commercial marketplace to get our package business. Uh, but yes, I'm pretty confident that we uh, we have a very deliberate process. Uh, we, uh, uh, we, we uh, uh, have a long-term plan that sets parameters that we, that we work through and, and guide, and our investments are reviewed and competed. Uh, 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 we, uh, uh, we're, not, oh, we're not the same bureaucratic type of organization we were in the past, because we have to move. We have to, if I don't get this done, if we don't get this done in a short time frame, we're going to run out of money. All right. I've run over my time. I apologize, Mr. Chairman. If you can have your folks give back to me this time, I'd appreciate it. We'll do that. that. Thank you, sir. And I won't yell at you. Thank you. Gentlemen.